that front line my under bus divide by 4 will give me 8.75 and the rest of what I have right here I'm going to share 0 0.25 here and 1.25 so if this is your first time I will advise you to go back to the other videos on this channel so you will be able to understand how we, we have been tightening our under bust effectively okay so this under bust tightening works very very effectively so I'll connect it back to this line and I'll connect back to this line so that means we are going to tighten everything we have here. We are cutting off this dart and closing up this dart. Okay, so it also gives us a perfect bust here on this line. Then coming over here, I'll also take my under bust tightening divide by 4. And what I have here, I will share here 0 0.25 and here. 1.25 so I'll just go in here and go in here so I'll bring it back here and bring it back here so we have tightened what we have right here so we are good to go with this asymmetric um, bodies so next we will be doing is the sleeve. So your sleeve, you need your basic sleeve, okay? That is actually very simple. So your basic sleeve is what is needed for this. And if you look, you will see there is a fluence going around the sleeve. So that fluence that is going around the sleeve, I'm going to take the measurement of what I have here for the fluence. So this is what I have here, 10 and a half. I'll times it by 2 because I have a back armhole coming in right there. So this fluence, I, we have a detailed video on how to make fluences on this channel. So you can also uh, scroll down for it. So to make your fluences, we always have a cardinal point for our fluence. And from that point, like I said, we have a, a detailed video. So all you need is to go over to the channel and check how to make your fluences. So, but I'm just demonstrating to you. Remember, we got 10 and half right here. So since we got 10 and half, what it means to us is that the 10 and half is going to be uh, is going to be times by two which is 21 so 21 inches you start to measure your fluence from this cardinal point so i'll measure my fluence into this point okay till i get 21 so i keep taking it after making my fluence wherever 21 stops it assuming it stops here i'll cut off the fluence i'll stop making the fluence so if i stop making the fluence i'll now cut I'll now cut my fluence, okay? I'm using this as an example. You need to go to that video, okay? It's on the channel, how to make a fluence perfectly. It's on this channel. So just scroll down on the channel. We are going to see the fluence. But I'm explaining to you how you can uh, attach this fluence on your, on your sleeve, okay? The length required, okay, where you can attach your lines. So I'll just cut, okay, then I'll continue my cutting. So I just assumed this is my 21 inches flans. So you can see the flans is forming itself already. So if this this is the actual length, I'll be attaching my basic sleeve. Okay. So my basic sleeve pattern 
of course we also have how to draft a basic sleeve pattern on this channel so my basic sleeve pattern i'll just sew this on all right people so this is it and that is my uh, basic sleeve so i just want to demonstrate so after cutting out and adding your seam allowance adding cutting your flans and adding your seam allowance you will be sewing your flans from one end to the other can you see that on top of your basic sleeve so once you attach it on top of your basic sleeve you 